And the first thing we need to focus on when we're trying to simplify an equation like this involving distribution is to eliminate our brackets, okay? We don't want to start shuffling terms around until we know what type of terms we're dealing with. So can somebody out there help me with a first step? Remember, there's more than one way to go about it, all right? So we're going to let you guide the ship here. Yes? Awesome. So uh, this four, remember that bracket, buddy, the bracket means that the four outside the bracket goes to everything inside. What is the operation that we're going to use when we distribute the four to the K and the negative three? What are we going, what operation, Megan? Multiplication. Multiplication. Nicely done. So who can do it for me? I've got four times K, four times negative three. What do you think, Anthony? Four K minus 12. Awesome work. And remember, we still do have that idea of the border, okay? So however you'd like to do it, you don't have to draw it that way, but that's an option for you. All right, let's take a look to the right side. What are you guys thinking? Who can help us with a next step? What's going to happen on the right side? Now, while some hands are slowly coming up, I want to ask you a quick question. What is the number immediately to the left of the bracket. Oscar? One. One. Nicely done. So it is a negative one in this case, but there is a one there. So here's my question for you. Do I go two minus one? I get one, and then my bracket stays the same. Is this cool? Can I do that? So I did two. So I looked at that guy right there. I subtracted one, and I ended up with one, and I stuck it right next to the bracket. What do you think? Let's see some thumbs up. Is that cool? Am I good to do that? Thumbs down. Any thumbs down? Only a few thumbs down. Hardly any thumbs up. Are we just uncertain? Are we in the middle? What do you guys think? Who, who wants to uh, elaborate for us? Sophia, what do you think? Awesome. So take care of the brackets first. So we got to make sure we take care of the distribution. So that is a one in there, right there. And we actually have to distribute that into the bracket. So what do I get when I distribute that into the bracket? And remember, this sign, this negative, belongs to the number one. Okay, so that guy is a negative one that we're distributing. What do you think, Adam? I'm negative two K and positive six. Nicely done. So essentially, the signs flip. Is my second line complete? Am I good? Am I solid? Solid work. What do you think, Jordan? Still got another three added two. Awesome. So that two is just kind of coming along for the ride. Awesome. And we are ready to go to our next step. Do I see any like terms on either side of the equation? Nate? Awesome. So I do see two variables. Can I add the 4k and the negative 2k together? Like they are like terms, but could I do this and like say this guy and that guy, let's just put them together and make my life easy. Is that something I can do? What do you think? You need some new hands out there. What do you think, Graham? Uh, well, depending on what you would do if you put them together. Seeing as it's a negative 2k, you'd have to take away from the 4k. If you were just going to make it uh, <coughs> 6k, that would be wrong. Okay, so he's saying, well, if we put it together, I, I'm, I think you're on the right track, but I'm not, I'm not positive. If I'm where I'm standing from, I'm not too sure what we mean by that. Anyone want to elaborate a little further? I like the logic, though. He's trying to, trying to logically think this one through. What do you think, Anna? You have to move one of them over to the other side by uh, canceling it out. So if you were to move the 4 to the right... You'd have to go 4K minus 4K and then do the same on the other side. Awesome. So remembering that these are like two separate countries, we've got to cross the border first before they can be added and subtracted. And that might be, I don't know, Graham, that might have been what you were kind of getting at. That was my assumption. There you go. Nicely done. So he's assuming that it was coming to the other side, we can put them together. Okay, so how about right now, are there any like terms in the same or on the same side in the same country that I could put together, make my life easy. Adam? On the right side, there's a two and a six. Awesome. 
So 2 and 6. So we might as well put those guys together. Remembering we've got the same left side. When we put 2 and 6 together, I think we're all pretty, pretty good with adding 2 and 6. All right, so here we are. Noticing this question right here is almost identical to the question we did uh, two days ago, right? We have a variable on both sides. We have constants on both sides. What's my next step, folks? What is my next step? Hassan, what are you thinking? Awesome. All right, so your assumption is you want variables on which side in the end? You want to bring your variables to the right or to the left? Left. He wants to go to the left, so if I go to the left, am I canceling the 4K out or am I canceling the negative 2K? Awesome. So if we want to go to the left, we've got to get rid of that guy. If I want to go to the right, I've got to get rid of this guy. doesn't matter which one you choose, but just making sure that we're clear on that. So if you want to get rid of negative 2K, what do I do there, Hassan? Awesome. And whatever we do to one side, he said, we do to the other. What am I left with here, folks? What am I left with here? Sophia? Uh, 6K minus 12 uh, and 8. Awesome. So these guys are essentially gone. Okay. So I'm just going to jump to a new page here. So we have 6K minus 12 equals 8. And what would be our next step, folks? What would be our next step? Who's going to help? Hannah's back on the stage. Move the, uh, move the 12 over with the 8, so you cancel out by adding 12 and Nicely done. Awesome. Okay, gentlemen over here, are we all good? All right, so we have canceled out our 12, just like Hannah mentioned, and we're left with a 6K, and we're left with... 20. And coming down the stretch, folks, noticing that this equation is getting smaller, 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 and eventually we want that variable by itself. What's my last step? What do you think? Adam, what do you think? Divide both numbers by 6. Awesome. And k is equal to, remember, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we get 1k equals, not a very pretty number, 20 divided by 6. Yeah, it looks like if we go, 6 goes into 18 three times, so it's going to be 3 point something. Good job, Jordan, on that. How about as a reduced fraction? Can I reduce this at all? What's that going to look like? Just, uh, 10, over three. 10 over 3 works. We know 3 goes into 10 three times, just like Jordan mentioned. How many, what fraction is left over? What fraction is left over? If I, 3 goes into 10 three times, what's left over? Oh, close. Or one over. There you go. Perfect. So you just had it upside down. There you go. So 3.33333333 forever, and you are done, my friend. So K is equal to 10 over 3, 3 and 1 third, or 3.3 repeated. Those are all accurate and correct solutions. Good job, folks.